I think LB Sexy is definitely the higher seed. Sure. See, game one on the PS2, nice neutral stage. Uh, right away, opening for LB Sexy. Let's see if Sleeper can find one of his own. It's a down tilt. Nothing else left this time. Ooh, calls out the roll in with the, the, the chomp. It's a grab. See, I think in that situation, if Sleeper could um, shark with up air on the platform for the tech chase, instead of going for whatever back air that was. Because uh, that back air covered no tech, and that was about it. Whereas, if you can shark with up air, you can kind of just reaction tech chase it. Um, and, and see where they go, and just up air. Just change your aerial drift a little bit. And that's stock one to LB Sexy, no jump. Finds a counter. He's off stage here. Air dodge is the ledge. Now he's got the upper hand, but. Finds it down. He's going for a lot of down airs in neutral, and I just don't think Roy gets much off of down air. Um, I think he should be looking for more nares. When I compare it to Overcast Roy that we saw from earlier, there's a lot more nares and fares looking to to wall out and kind of catch these aerial approaches. And I think that works super good versus Wario. Um, character pretty much only approaches on the air or on the bike. And neutral is going to stuff out a lot of those. So, um, see if we can kind of use some of those. And on LB Sexy's end, almost full stock up. Um, definitely has a couple of good reads on, on rolls and, and tech patterns. There's another one. Um, so, it's got some. Yeah, up air, up air does a lot of things. It's a, it's a very good move. And yeah, catches him running into the back here. Knows he's gonna chase. Um, but that back here. Ooh! Oh, he was a heavy boy. Squire booting up. I think he plays the winner. We'll probably get that on the stream. Oh, that was weird. I thought up tilt hit through the platform. Maybe it does. Yeah, Sleeper needs to find his first stock now. Uh, dash attack. I'd like to see a grab here. Is LB Sexy shielding a lot? Yeah, forward smash into the shield. Down smash. I think he's getting really desperate for this stock. Um, so if he can find this stock. Yeah, Overcast really pretty much textbook optimal. So Sleeper, I want to study his overcast quads. Oh, that's what I did. I just studied overcast quads. Just the wob. I think you're just a little bit too high percent for that concern, but... Another drift encounter, and uh, just didn't quite find its way. There's the bike. Near the bike. Come on, near the bike. Uh, didn't near the bike. See if he nears the bike. Oh, got a fair. That's... Better than nothing. Yeah, Nair just works really good because you can scoop Wario off the bike. And it's active for a really long time. But down tilt dash check. Three stock for LB Sexy. Um, yeah, see if Sleeper sticks to Roy. Or, or he does have the Joker in the back, too. I would like to stick with the Roy. I think Roy's got the better matchup. Um, it's just if he can find a way to use it. I don't know, Joker could have a really good matchup in the Warrior. Like, back air can, can give Warrior a lot of trouble, I think. I think they're both pretty decent matchups. Just, uh, just whichever one works, I guess. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know how it is sometimes. Maybe a different stage. I would also like to see a different stage. Um, I think something a little bit smaller. 
More so for the small blast zones. Like, I think a smash wheel could be really good here. Um, especially if you can use a little bit more, uh, what's the, what's the side be called? It's not Dancing Blade, it's got its own thing. It's like the, the Fiery Sword Dance of Destiny or something. Because rui has got to be special. Um, but, basically Dancing Blade, but hits harder. Um, if you can use a lot more of that, because, like, that's going to start closing out stocks on Warrior, like, 80% at the ledge. So, in his ledge trap, and I think you should definitely be looking for that a lot more. Um, yeah, I'm really focusing on Sleeper in this set, because LB's actually just three-stocked him. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> uh, double Edge Dance. So, Double Edge Fairy Swords Dance of Destiny is what Royce Ivy is canonically known as. Don't worry, I've played every single Fire Emblem that I own, which is none of them. Uh, yeah, Royce Sword Fire. That's the one, that's the one I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I've never played Fire Emblem. Sue me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, stick it out with the Roy. I wanna see the stage before I decide how I feel about this. Yeah, smash <laughs> Woo, this is what I want to see. So, I want to see more side beats. Um, I think at low percent it's good, but you don't want to steal it too much. So, I want to see nares, fares, side beats. And so far we've got a jab. That's another good move. There's a fair. Okay. More disadvantage. Here it all just out. Smash for a player. I feel that in my soul. Okay, so he's F smashing in neutral. While Warrior's at 23%. That's not really gonna get much done. This is a scary situation. No jump. Down stage. Let's see up throw. I'd like to see more down throws. It keeps the opponent just a little bit closer for sharking. Um, I don't think there's any true follow ups on it. Uh, so, yeah, it catches the air dodge in. Um, probably want to just dip low and up B. I don't think Wario can contest that much, other than, like, run off fair. But he was so far into the stage that you could tell that the, the fair wasn't going to be coming. Yeah, see, there's another up throw. It does find the shark up there, but when it's on the platform, can't get another. Usually when you're trying to shark, you want to get a couple of those. There's a there. Stuff's the approach. And, yeah, another floor smash run. See, right there, off of that down kill, I would've liked to see a side beat. He had the right read. Well, there's there's the side beat at the ledge, but off that one down kill. Yeah, there it is. Doesn't quite kill from center stage, but that's the side beat that I need to see. And there's the floor smash. Okay. So he's, he's figuring some things out in the matchup. He's thinking. Ooh. At least I actually missed the jab lock. Looking for that jab lock down tilt. Probably into a wall off, I would think. He was almost fully charged. Yeah, Sleeper plays really high risk. And, uh, doesn't get a lot of reward. So it's kind of. Wow, that up air sent him nowhere. I'm just shocked at that up air. Uh, yeah, he does a lot of unsafe stuff, and I think if he just plays a lot more and focuses on like reads, um, he'll be able to get away with it a bit more. Right now, he's kind of just like smacking shields and like whiffing a lot of forward smashes. There we go, find some forward smash. Last stock, looking a lot better this game, and that's it. Oh, he's alive. Despite, I think, the worst DI I've ever seen on Waft. I think he held down on that Waft. Why did he go at that angle? It's kind of like a 5 degree angle down. Okay, I'm not sure what that counter is. But there's a side B. I would like to see the down angle there, just because it's more damage, but... Uh, we'll take what we can get. Yeah, that downer. Oh, I'm not sure what that downer was, and it it did cost him. But a lot better second game on the sleeper, so really promising. Uh, I want to see him get rid of those downers because I'm not sure he's looking for it. I. Th